Yo, what it do, Raw fam? We are back with another one today, guys. And now I'm seeing where Hobson just dropped 11 hours ago. So it's called I Don't Want It. I don't know what this is going to consist of. I haven't heard none of it. I heard three seconds of it and said, damn, this is new. So let's get to it. Let's go, let's go do us a, a, a Raw React, baby, for the Raw React family. Let's go. Anyways, like I said, guys, like, comment, subscribe, Hobson. I don't want it. Let's go. Let's see what this is about. This will probably be the last song that I'll come out with for a while. No. <laughs> I'm sorry to all my fans. I always think of Robin Williams. Someone we loved and who we saw appealing. He made us all laugh as adults and children. Shit, all the millions that he had. I wonder what were his thoughts and feelings five minutes before the belt that cut his breath off and killed him. Mm. Probably something like my thoughts now. What goes up is... That's insane, man. Robin Williams. R.I.P. to a legend, bro. Damn, it gave me chills, guys. Oh, look at that. Look at the chills. You can see them. Telling you, bro. It's gotta fall down. I guess I pour it all out, cause right now, the Reaper's in the room visiting. So if I do leave, at least you know why I did it then. It started way back then when I was a kid at first. Niggas bullied me when they saw that I was an introvert. I was never cool, had no friends, no chicks would flirt. Every school year, it's like all my issues were getting worse. My whole life, they was calling me corny, stupid. I never had a dad who was there to mentor me through it. Skateboarding was my escape. It wasn't just for amusement. My issues kept reoccurring, so I would resort to music. Yeah. I'd been about the burdens that were sitting in my heart. I'd been about the way I felt from swimming with the sharks. My mom was always working, so our bond was stripped and ripped apart. Ain't no fucking family memories. Ain't no pictures at the park. Then I thought, the world is about to see hell come. And I'ma live the good life everyone else wants. And in that moment, my tears dried and I felt numb. Then years later, I blew up. The mission was well done. I don't want it no more. I don't want it no more. No more. <coughs> So one of the illest rappers that I know of, besides Eminem, MGK, all those, Hobson, you're going to quit? You can't, bro. You can't. You're, you are what made me really start listening to like just crazy stuff. You, Eminem, like sag my pants, all that, man. I love that stuff, bro. You can't quit on us. Let's go. Let's see what else he has to say. I knew that I was only here because it's revenge for my past. It's crazy. Went from a loser in school who got the worst grades to being praised for all my verses when I disperse rage. I caught the whip, moved out the ghetto like by haters. Bought a brand new house with a bunch of white neighbors. Everyone started calling one like five favors, and guess what? All of it dealt with spending my paper. And I was nice, I'd give him cash, I'd show sympathy. I gave him some, him and her. I'm just lending cheese. Now I'm just looked at like an ATM machine. If I don't give my friends my money, shit, I'm the enemy. I now I'm looked at as an ATM machine. If I don't give my friends more money, I'm looked at like the enemy. Very true. You know, you got somebody calling up, hey, yo, can I get 10 bucks for gas and cigarettes and da-da-da? Nah, man, I really, honestly, I don't have it. Well, then fuck you then, da-da-da. You ain't never been no friend of me. That's how people are, man. That's how people are, and that's so fucked up. Because you can tell Hobson's probably one of the most genuinest guys you'll ever meet. But, man, don't quit on us, Hop. Come on, bro. I had about a million new best friends that I just met. Some were plotting to build me a deathbed. All because they kept on putting wax songs out that no one's impressed with. So why the jealousy they diss me? You fucking guessed it. <laughs> At least I had my squad, Jaren, Dizzy, Hopper, Swizz. I knew we stick together stuck in this chaotic biz. We had it all figured out. It had a lot to give. It was fun volume for life. Who want a problem, bitch? Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we parted ways. 2016, those were some of my darkest days. Ask us all, whose fault was it? Ain't hard to say. But it was due to money and all of our bonds that start to fade. Months later, my girl told me she's pregnant. This was something I never expected. Her and I weren't on good terms at the time. Man, it was hectic. And I was scared if she kept this baby, I 
might regret it, mainly because her and I had a fucking toxic relationship. Last thing we need is a fucking toddler to raising it. Having a baby is great, but not as amazing. Had a toxic relationship, the last thing her and I needed was a fucking baby to raise in it. It's true, man. You really don't need to have kids if all y'all's gonna do is fight and argue and act crazy and stuff, you know? Let that go, but I mean, if you already have the baby on its way, then have it. Because I don't believe in uh, killing babies, man. Just have that thing, you know what I'm saying? I know you already did because I know you got a son. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, guys, if you already got a baby, don't abort that thing. It's alive too. Let's go. When you got two parents who always fighting, hollering, breaking shit. Present day, all my people are gone. No real friends, just leeches around eating the crumbs. No family bonds, no SB. <laughs> No fucking girlfriend, I swear I thought that she was the one I feel You know, back in the day My brother Fester just made a, a video Talking about how homeless I was And a drug addict and stuff like that From back in the day I'm not like that no more I work, I have three kids I have a wife And I wouldn't change nothing about it But I'm saying If you're not happy in something Don't let it go too far to where it makes everybody around you and you yourself miserable, guys. Let's get this. Try to help one another. You know, as script work says, hug life. Let's go. Alone, and I struggle to get my fans what they want from me. I'm struggling to build this UP company. I'm begging on my fucking knees like, God, please help me because I can't fucking breathe. I'm trying to smile, but pain is cutting deep. Show me that I'm more than just a rapper. Show me that this life that I've been working on is meant to be more than just a disaster. I hope this message I'm sending is flowing. No fame, I should have focused on the love. I don't want it no more. I don't want it no more. <clears throat> so instead of focusing on trying to get big, trying to focus on getting millions, focus on getting cars and all that shit, he should have been focusing on his old lady that had his baby. You feel me? He should have been trying to take care of her and him or her and her or whoever, whatever he's got. I'm pretty sure he's got a son, but. Yeah, he is right. And he's saying he don't want this no more. He don't want this kind of life no more. He wants him and his family to be happy. And I get that. I do. The chorus is, I don't want to no more. I don't want to, I don't want to no more. So you know pretty much what he's saying there. But guys, <coughs> that was Hobson. I don't want it no more. We'll finish this little bit out. Guys, I think that's all it's going to do is I don't want it no more. Uh, anyways, I want to tell you something, too. Go check out my brother, Fester, F-E-S-T-E-R, at YouTube.com. He's more of a motivational speaker and trying to get stuff done around my area, the area he's typically from. Uh, just go sub to his channel. Go listen to see what, what kind of views he has, what kind of standpoints he has on all different things, views in life. You may like it sub to the channel <laughs> but anyways guys this is raw reacts like comment subscribe and we are out